Streaming from my phone today, guys. That's all I'm gonna work on for today. I'm gonna make sure I, uh, sorry about that. Oh, it's not gonna let it. I don't know if this phone is gonna ring in the middle of my stream, but hopefully not. Let's see here. This is really crazy to try to stream from a phone. in a way that you can actually see it and hear it. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see how it goes, huh? Sitting here and mess with this stupid thing. Oh, I don't know. Well, that's really, really crazy looking, isn't it? No matter what I do, it's kind of crazy looking. Okay. Let me do some warm ups. Just pretty simple stuff. Try to loosen up a little bit. Yep, I got two hours of sleep last night. But because of my internet situation, if I want to stream from my phone without having to move and, and not have to move my computer and everything, then I gotta do it early. I already went out and did about an hour and a half jaunt with the dogs today. It's, I don't even know what time it is. It's like eight in the morning, maybe? 8 a.m., I believe. My wife's out doing a 30 mile road bike ride. Normally she goes and runs with the dogs in the morning. But she didn't want to do that today, so I needed to get up early to take them out. We 
we got a big field out behind our neighborhood. The dogs like to run around out there. They can do it safely. We got some training collars for them, so they're nice and safe out there, and they just run until they're done running. It's pretty great. Flushing birds and stuff. So I'm pretty new to the streaming with my phone thing. I know that if you're in the chat, I can't see it. <laughs> I'm not being rude, but not commenting. I'll come over there and take a look at it here in a second. So this is, what, my third fitness stream. Yesterday I took a recovery day. So I wound up just chatting for uh, an hour or so talking fitness and motivation and then after that I just went into a writing stream worked on some stuff <sighs> looks like I should use a art category for that instead of a just chatting category but uh, loosen up a bit huh oh. Be right back. Just needed to put that away. So let's see, I wrote up on the board my warm up. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my singles. So this is all just about me trying to get back in shape. As I am in the worst shape of my life. My body hurts all the time. And that's got to change, you know? tired today too. Calves are tired. Okay. Oh. That goes over there. I'm going to do 15 push-ups. And I'm going to do 15 sit-ups, just get the body warmed up, doing stuff, you know.
Okay. Whew. Pretty tough to work out when you're this tired. I'll have to really pay attention to what my body's telling me. Really keep my form tight. Oh, a little wider in my squat today. starting to loosen up. Okay. Not bad. Um, I just need to hang a little bit. Decompress the spine a little. Really, you can do this huh. anywhere where there's something to hang from. Hang from a tree. A good, a good branch or something like that. Ah, oh, there we go. I feel. And it's taller. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm gonna do my kettlebell presses first. And my shoulders aren't quite warmed up yet. Okay, let's see here. You grab <sighs> Oh, yeah, see like that right there. Bad form setting those down. Because I'm tired. Oh. So I've just got oh. I'm not doing a I'm not doing a high intensity workout today. Not not a CrossFit type workout today. I'm just gonna work three exercises and call it good. I need to build strength in my in my legs and mobility in my hips, so I'm working on some squats, but I'm just going to do uh, kettlebell squats today. I'll show you what that is. Um, I want to build some shoulder strength, work on my core a little bit while I'm doing that. And, uh, and then I'll go into some heavier, I'll do a few sets with a heavy uh, barbell push press. Heavier. So I'm not very strong right now. Like, really not very strong right now. <sighs> okay. Core is tight. Not, uh, I'm only doing like 25 pound kettlebells right there. It's not a lot, but like I said, I'm not very strong right now. Don't want to overdo it. Um, 
got a low back issue, plus I've got a slight injury in my wrist right now, so. Try to take it easy, just kind of work into this thing slowly. Uh, so that I don't injure myself further, you know? And then I can actually get fit instead of injuring myself and then having to stop, that sort of thing. All right. So what I want to do is, at the top of this, well I want to make sure that my elbows aren't way out, you know. One of them kind of in front of me, a little, about a 45 degree angle from my, my shoulders really. But at the top I want to lock my elbows out and I want to keep it, to keep the uh, kettlebell close to my head or my arm close to my head, ideally. So that when I'm here, I'm in a good hold position really pinching the, the trapezius. Keeping the core tight so that I don't go all sway back, right? form starts to go right there. Oh, so a lot of times I lose, I lose form pretty bad when I'm going overhead because I'm so tight down through here, like clear down. My lats all the way down. My shoulders are real tight back through here. So I don't have a lot of mobility here yet. I never have. I'd like to get that in a really good situation so that I can do some overhead squats and some, uh, some heavy snatches. <sighs> but it's gonna be a long while before I can really do that. <sighs> be right back. Okay. one more and then we'll see. I'm not counting reps right now. I'm going for feel. As soon as I start to feel my form start to give way, then I'll stop. Which isn't taking me very long right now. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's a good trick to learn. If you really want to get strong and you really want to get, get fit quickly, don't worry about repetitions. Just uh, learn to listen to your body. Pay attention to how your body feels and work to that level every time. And then uh, you'll, build, you'll build strength really fast. Hips stable and shh, shh. 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 Yep, there it goes, one more. This is crazy. It doesn't take me long to start losing that form. I feel good with that. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop with three sets, and I'm gonna move on to my squats, keeping a kettlebell out. I'm going to squat to a ball. <sighs> Garage is on a little bit of a slant, so I'm going to point my toes that direction. And basically, all I'm going to do here is I'm 
going to hold the, the kettlebell here, squat down, touch my butt to the ball, and then come back up. I don't want to go too deep right now because my hips are pretty, uh, are not very mobile. And uh, I don't want to strain my back at all. So just going to use that ball as a, as a stopping point, a little measurement. Boy, I'm tired today. Okay. Crazy. <laughs> oh, crazy how tired I am. Oh. Yawning in the middle of a workout. I forgot to say I've got bad knees too. <laughs> my body's, I've been in pain most of my life, really. I can't remember a day that I wasn't in pain. All the way back to like teenagehood. My early teens, I'm sure I wasn't, I'm sure I didn't hurt all the time. My back has always hurt since, since I can remember as a teenager. And I damaged my knees pretty good. I used to do parkour before I knew what parkour was. So I was jumping off all kinds of stuff. I've hyperextended my knees pretty bad a couple of times. Always had knee problems. And I forget about that until I'm doing squats and I start to feel a little, a little pinch in my knee. <laughs> okay, gonna do another set. So, you're holding a kettlebell for squats, you can call it a goblet squat. It's easiest to hold it this direction with the handle down because if you hold it this way, then you just hit yourself in the chin the whole time you're squatting. So this is the easiest way to hold a kettlebell if you're gonna do squats with a kettlebell. set of those. I'm only doing I think 10 maybe. And then I will move on to my push presses. And one reason I'm so out of shape is because I sit in a chair and uh, write or create content. I've been trying to create content, but I've been writing for, oh, sitting in a chair and writing for about six years as, you know, professionally. And I've let my body just go to waste. 
can't do that if you're a writer or a content creator or, or anything else. You got to get some exercise in or you will regret it one day. At least I don't see how you couldn't regret it one day, you know? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do one more set. Let's see, make sure. Then I'm gonna have to set up this rack, which I forgot to do before stream, so. One more set of squats. that time. Sorry for all the crazy movement and stuff. Whoa. <laughs> That's my office in the background. <laughs> and my inspiration there on the wall. <laughs> Stay. Again, I'm not gonna do a ton of weight. Well, I've never been able to do a ton of weight. Certainly more than I can do now. But to keep myself from losing my form and ruining my back, I'll go fairly light today, I think. I think I'm looking at three, maybe four sets. Probably won't be a lot of repetitions. We'll see. I might go higher reps today just to slowly build up that strength a little bit. Stability. position and then I'm just gonna press overhead and uh, we'll see how it goes <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
And that's kind of how that goes. <laughs> oh. Again, I can feel like my, I can feel my form is not perfect. It's not the worst I've ever experienced or witnessed, but it's certainly not perfect. A lot of my muscles aren't wanting to work together to stabilize my spine. I've got some extra weight on the front of my belly, uh, keeping me from, <laughs> making it difficult to really contract the abdominals and support the spine that way. And then just, just general muscular weakness all around right now. Whew. Okay. So this turns into more high intensity stuff here. <sighs> Push presses. All right, here we go. Do one more set here, see how I feel. Whew. See if I can keep my form better. It's been a while since I've done it. There's a little bit of a memory loss that's taking place, you know? starting to feel the fatigue right now. I just want to go to sleep. Uh. Uh. I'm going to do another set though. Oh man. <laughs> I'll be right back. Gotta check the feeds, make sure everything's going all right. Oh. Okay, last set. We're gonna go for, you know, my brain, I automatically wanna, sorry. My brain, I automatically wanna stop at 10. So we're gonna do 12. So I can just prove to myself that, <laughs> so I can, sh I can show my body that I'm in charge. <laughs> or show my brain that my body's in charge, whichever. Uh, 
And that's how we do it <laughs> on two hours of sleep. that down now. Take a little break. Oh. Well, I appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate the support. Oh. I know it takes a certain, a certain type of person to want to watch somebody else work out. <laughs> uh, but hopefully it's, hopefully it's motivating for you. It's certainly motivating for me to know that, that I've got some people that, I don't know, are, are interested enough to, to check out the Twitch and, and to follow and all that kind of stuff. So I appreciate that. Thank you. I needed the motivation today. I know if I would have, if I would have just gone to bed, I wouldn't have worked out today because <laughs> I've got lots of other work that I want to do and, and I've been putting exercise aside for all this time already. So it wouldn't be hard for me to do it again. So I appreciate having the motivation uh, or I appreciate you being a motivation for me to get out here and work out. Hopefully something I did and said today had some value to you. Sorry that my camera's shaking so bad. I'm so exhausted. <laughs> uh, boy, oh boy. Well, happy Saturday. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go to bed now. <laughs> I do need to get some sleep so that I can get some work done today. Um, if you're interested, I'll continue to do these. I haven't figured out a schedule yet for my fitness streams. Um, I'll be I'll be doing some writer at work streams too, meaning that I'll just be writing and talking about writing. But I haven't got a schedule for that. What I do have a schedule for is my Dungeons and Dragons themes theme themed stream. Ah, can't talk when I'm exhausted either. Which is where I share my process for creating fantasy worlds for both tabletop role-playing and for fantasy, epic fantasy novels. Um, and those are on Monday and Wednesday at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you're interested in, in a collaborative build, you're, I, uh, I've been building that world with with my chat. It's been a lot of fun. If you're interested in doing that, then drop in on Monday or and Monday and Wednesday at 10 p.m. Pacific time, and you can have a say in some of the things that uh, we create for that world. Uh, and then I will actually be compiling all of that and delivering it to you guys in the form of a PDF so that you can use it in your own home games and stuff like that. So, and uh, I also talk a lot about writing in those, depending on who's in the chat how many writers we have in the chat, but writing is definitely the thing I know the most about. And uh, fitness might be second, I don't know. I've got, I've got a lot of passions. Anyway, anyway, I'm winding down here. I can feel my brain going to sleep. Hey, I love you guys. In case nobody's told you today, I love you. And uh, have a great day, have a great weekend. Be safe, um, be kind, <laughs> and uh, I hope to see you here again in the coming days. Thanks so much. Have a great, have a great day. Bye.